friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Angel. I'm so glad you're here today. You can tell that we're in our guest bathroom and I'm finally able to reveal how we change this small space into something that we're very excited about. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep watching. This bathroom is located right off of our family room and it is the main bath that all of our guests use when they're here with us in the house. So this was the first area that we really wanted to tackle giving a refresh. We've lived in this house almost 20, 21 years now and we have not really changed the foundational structure such as the flooring, the tile, those types of things. So we thought that this would be a great area to start and see how our vision turned out. You can see from the previous pictures, this bathroom, the tile, the cabinetry, the countertops, everything was in great shape. It just was a little dated. The tile had kind of a peach orange undertone, which was very pretty, but just not our style. So once we decided so what that we wanted to begin with this room, the first foundational thing that we changed was the ceramic tile in the shower right behind us. We went with a beautiful marble looking 12 by 24 large tile as well as a coordinating tile that we did in this chevron pattern. I went with the chevron pattern because when you enter this bathroom, the focal point is actually this back shower wall. And so I wanted it to have some visual interest and that's why we went with the tile. You can see that we also chose these beautiful, heavy sliding barn style glass doors. I know that's a real contention point for a lot of people. These shower doors, people say they can be hard to clean um, and that type of thing. I don't disagree that they are challenging and cleaning, but again, this bathroom is not used that frequently. So we felt like that using this glass, it really opened up the space and let you have a larger expanse and didn't block off our beautiful tile. So those were the first two things that we did in this space. The third thing that we did, obviously, was add fresh paint in the bathroom. We went with Soji White by Sherwin-Williams, which is kind of a creamy white, a little bit more on the warm side. And then, loving these inspiration photos of picture frame molding, that was the next thing that we embarked upon. I thought that this was something we could probably do ourselves, and thankfully, my husband is super handy, and he was able to help me with this. So, a couple of things that we learned is the layout is extremely important. Um, as I began to lay out, I realized that our toilet was not exactly centered between the cabinet and the shower, but rather than relocate the toilet, we just cheated a little bit on our picture frame molding and laid out around that to just compensate. So after cutting all the pieces, we attached those with a brad nailer to the wall. I filled in with a wood putty, which was rather time consuming, but that and the caulking detail is the most important thing that you can do to really give this technique and this architectural detail that perfect professional touch. Please don't skip those two things. And then the final step in this picture frame molding trim is just to add on that same paint as the walls, the Soji White, to just go over and finish everything out, cover where we filled in those nail holes with the wood putty, as well as painting over the caulk. And here is how that trim turned out. The next thing that I needed to move on and deal with was the wood cabinet in our bathroom. It was a solid wood vanity and it was in exceptional condition. The only thing that I didn't really love about it was the color of the wood. You can see in this frame on the left hand side is the original wood tone and the right side door is what I was able to um, refresh it into. 
So I decided rather than pulling the whole vanity out or painting it, I would just utilize a gel stain in a black to go over the top of the red that really was in this wood. It was almost a cherry finish. So what I did was pull those doors off. I gave them a light sanding and I cleaned all the extra dust off and then just utilized a rag to go right over the top of this wood, wiping it on and then removing the excess that I did not want off with a rag. And as you can see, it turned out beautifully. It really didn't give it a black look, but rather just toned down that red wood and made it into a more warm brown. So for the base part of the cabinet, I simply taped off in the bathroom, did that same process of a light sand, and then brushed that gel stain right over the top of the wood. It turned out fantastic. You can see how it just warmed up this wood, but you can still see the wood grain. Another bonus is that gel stain adheres to a variety of surfaces and it does not require a sealer because it contains a sealer within it. Thanks for spending time with me today and I hope that you enjoyed this guest bath reveal as much as we did bringing it to you. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to see you here again next time. But until then, remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, bye-bye.